Hey guys, thank you so much for being here. If you are new to our channel, please don't forget to subscribe, press the bell, hit the like, and leave a comment down below. I really appreciate all of that, and I appreciate you taking the time to be here today. So in this project, we're going to implement the server side of the Wizard Journal app project. We're going to start by installing our dependencies. So from the terminal tab, press New Terminal. What this is going to do is, it's going to open a new terminal for us to install all, all the dependencies. So you are required to have three dependencies in this project. The express, then course, and finally the body parser. We're going to start by installing express using npm install express and hit enter. This usually takes some time, but what is going to happen here is it's going to install Express here in the package.json file. So whenever your reviewer use the npm install command, all the dependencies, including Express, is going to be installed on his local machine. I'm going to wait some time for it to be downloaded. And as, as soon as it finished, you're going to see here, here, you're going to see dependencies and express over here. Okay, now let's install course. Let's use npm install course and hit enter. Now this command is going to install course in the package.json file. So as soon as finished, you can see it right here. You see, it's been already installed here. Finally, we're going to install the body parser. So I'm going to say npm install body parser. Then I'm going to hit enter. And over here, you're going to see that the body parser is going to be installed and the dependencies as well. I'm going to take it some time, and here it is. Perfect. Now let's start working on the server side. Over here, I'm going to start by requiring all of them. So I'm going to say const express equal require express. Then I'm going to require course. Let's say require and force. And finally, const and send the body parser. It's already been initialized here, so I'm going to say body parser equal require. And over here, I'm going to say body parser. Perfect. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to create the app, which is app, sorry, app, it's going to be an instance of express. So I'm going to say express. express. Then I'm going to use course alongside the body parser. So I'm going to say app dot use course. Sorry, course. Yes. Don't forget your semicolon. Perfect. Now we're going to start by setting up the server side. Sorry, the server. So I'm going to first create a port. Let's say const. And you can initiate any port you want. I'm going to initiate port 8000. And I'm going to say const server. It's going to be our server. And app dot listen. And I'm going to take, I'm going to give it the port and the function. And this function is go, sorry. Let's call our function listening, probably. And this function is, we're gonna, over here, function, and 
listening. You guys remember a huge, um, a common mistake here is that we won't actually output anything that would let the reviewer know that your server is running. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create the function. And all this function is going to do is it's going to output something so that the reviewer would know that your server is running and produce an output. So here I'm going to say server running on port and I'm going to specify my port. And here I'm going to say port. Now this is what uh, what is this is going to do is whenever you start your server, you will see here an output saying your server is running on port 8000. Okay, so now let's create the get function and the post function. And first let's start with the get function. So all, all I'm going to do is I'm going to say app.get and if you guys could remember a huge common mistake here as well is the student won't specify the get function with two parameters. Now your first parameter should be the route and the second should be the function. So over here I'm going to specify the route. I'm going to say forward slash and let's call this all data. And my function is going to be send data. And then I'm going to create the function send data, which is going to take two parameters the request and the response. Res And all this function is going to do is, is going to send the response to the endpoint, which is the project data. So over here, I'm going to say response dot send the project data. Perfect. Now let's create the post function. Also, a, a huge common mistake here is that you won't initiate your post function using two parameters, the string and the function. So I'm going to say app.post and this is going to have the first parameter is going to be the apt data and the second parameter is going to be our function. So let's call our function add data as well. And over here, I'm going to initiate the function. I'm going to say add data. And it's also going to take two parameters, the request and the response. And I'm going to create a new variable. I'm going to call it data. And I'm going to give it the request body. Sorry, I'm going to copy this. Say request dot body, and I want to output this. So when I when we run this, we know we can actually see the data that is coming from the server side. So I'm gonna say here server side data and the variable data. Then we're gonna start creating the value pairs. So you are required to have three value pairs in this project. The first is the date, then the temp, which is the temperature. Say here is the temperature. And finally, the feelings, which is the user user's input. input. Perfect. Now let's create them. Let's say project data. First is going to be 
copy date. Data dot date. Then we have the temp. So I'm going to say project data of the temp equals to the data dot temp. And finally, the field. So I'm going to say call it feel and this is going to be the data dot feeling and semicolon. Finally I'm going to send the response to the endpoint. So I'm gonna say response dot send I'm gonna say here project And that's it. That is the server side. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.